Hey guys, my name is Arden. I am a Wattpad and Inkit writer. I am also a booktuber and authortuber and a bookstagrammer. All my social media links are down below if you want to check me out. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be talking about She's With Me by Jessica Consolo. Now, if you're not familiar with me or with my booktube style, I don't really give people reviews. I try not to spoil books. I try not to go in depth and talk about books, but I am relying mostly on my reactions when I'm filming these videos and they're all genuine. So I am just trying to kind of talk about my feelings about books that I am reading. If you would like more information about these books, I would definitely recommend watching someone who does reviews. This is not me. I am just reacting as I am reading and I'm giving you an insight on my feelings at the time of reading the books and not, um, you know, final thoughts that are cohesive because sometimes everything I say doesn't make sense. So um, if you're up for a journey, if you're down for this train wreck, let's get started. I am 78 pages into this book and I am doing a buddy read with my friend Lauren from Wattpad. I do have to say that uh, I am supposed to be reading 100 pages by the end of the week because this is a buddy read and we're allowing people to join if they want to. Mm, I think I'm gonna be reading more than that because I just need something to cheer me up. This is known as one of the comfort books of Wattpad or at least that's how I've heard about this. My first introduction to this book was to as the comfort book of Wattpad. So you know what? Yesterday I started reading and it definitely cheered me up a little bit. It definitely helped me not overthink. And today I just want to keep going and I want to have fun and see where it takes me. I'm sorry, Jack, that was scary. <laughs> so my dogs are asleep. I am... 170 pages in and let's talk about she's with me Whew. okay hi jack i'm so sorry for scaring you i am going to be referring to my twitter where i am leaving a thread with my opinions about this book because i'm afraid that because so much is happening in my life that i'll forget so let's start talking about this and how I feel. First of all, the writing style. It's beautiful. I love it. It's not too descriptive and boring, but it's also not amateur style like mine. I usually I just write the most necessary things and I'm not too descriptive. I don't really care about the aesthetics or the atmosphere. I just write whatever I want and, you know, get the point across so that I can focus on the dialogue, which is my favorite part. Even in books that I'm reading, the dialogue is always the best. But for this book, I, I read literally everything. I read all the descriptions, all the dialogues. I, I read everything because there is a mystery in this book that we need to know about. But also, it's not too much, but it's not either done in a way that is lacking, if that makes sense. It's just the perfect balance of description and dialogue. That is my personal opinion. If you don't agree, don't come for me. I don't know why I did that. It's extra. Maybe Caitlin or maybe um, Amelia is rubbing off on me, but I don't know. She's always extra. The main character in this book is Amelia Collins. We follow her as she gets to this high school and she bumps into this guy on the first day, makes this whole scene and instantly his friends kind of decide they like her, so they invite her into the group. And it, she is somehow involved with them now and is just trying to survive high school. She has a very interesting past that you have to read on to know about. But right off the bat, there is this mystery behind who she is, why is she so guarded, why does she know martial arts? Why is she in this new town? What happened? What is she not talking about? Who is she running from? There is this mystery about her that we don't know about. And she is so guarded. She doesn't have any pictures on her phone. She doesn't want any pictures taken of her. She just wants to be anom anonymous and she wants to survive. So that is her story as we start the book. The story flows naturally and is very entertaining. I like the pacing. 
I like how there's always something happening. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. It's just the right amount of... I don't even know. It's like watching a TV show where something happens. This book is just... It reads like a TV show. You have episodes where something interesting happens and then it gets resolved and you feel nice uh, by the end of the, the episode. But then the next episode, something also happens and, you know, that needs to be resolved. And this feels a lot like a TV show format that is so unique. I don't even know why, but it, it does really feel like a TV show to me. I really like how her past, how her mystery contributes to her character something that's happened to her something that the reason why she's in this new school also kind of ties with her badass attitude and character because she kind of knows how to fight i don't know she's a really badass which makes me wonder what is going on now at this point in time i i have already reached the part where i know what's happened to her but the rest of the characters don't know because she can't tell them what happened. She can't tell them why she's at this school. Who is she running from? And um, that's just, I don't know. Um, it's interesting because when they do find out, I really want to see their reactions. <laughs> Amelia as a character, she's really strong, like I said. And I really like her. Annalise. Annalise, is that her name? Or is it Annalisa? Anyway, one of these things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jessica, if you're watching this video. I literally cannot remember her name. She has violent tendencies and she kind of has <laughs> Sagittarius temper, dare I say. Kind of snaps. Um, then we have Charlotte, who is a sweetheart. We love her. Uh, we have Chase, <laughs> who's kind of... I mean, I don't use the word simp as an insult, and it's not gonna be an insult, but he's so cute. I mean, come on, I love him. Then we have Aiden, who is... I call him... Aiden is officially broody, moody, cutie. I love him. Um, he is nasty in words. I mean, not nasty. He is insulting in words but he is an angel in his actions he shows you he likes you by showing you not telling you which is what i love also mason as a character his and amelia's friendship is everything to me and i don't want that to change because they're so cute and if aiden wasn't in the picture i would ship them however aiden's in the picture so i i don't and then we have Noah, who's the baby of the group that I love. And I think, am I missing anyone? I don't know. But Caitlin is the school bitch that we don't talk about. Um, I think Jessica maybe hinted that she does get better in future books. So maybe I'll I'll check that out. But um, yeah, so far <laughs> we don't stand Caitlin. We stand, stand, we stand Amelia. So yeah, at first when I started reading this book, I made an Instagram story that Aiden is the biggest asshole I've ever met in any book. And listen, I was only three pages in. And yes, like I said, what comes out of his mouth is bad. However, he's so contradictory. He does good things. He genuinely does amazing things. And even if he's bad... You just can't help but love him because he doesn't, he, I don't even know. He's just good, okay? He's good. We love him. And yeah, like I said, the characters are likable. Uh, and I feel like I can tell them apart pretty easily, which is always a good sign. Especially when you have a lot of characters. Um, <laughs> Mason is the flirty one. Noah is the sweet one. And Aiden is the moody, broody, cutie. <laughs> Um, I know there are many more characters, but I'm currently not feeling overwhelmed, which is what I said in my Twitter. Um, Jack, you're so cute. Aww. I love how determined Amelia is. She stops at nothing to get what she wants. When somebody messes with her, she's gonna mess with them back. She literally isn't afraid to fight back, and she is so driven. There was this scene when something happened, 
and she had to do something about it in order to ensure her safety. And she literally locked someone in the janitor's closet. So I don't usually spoil things, but um, Amelia, we, we have respect for her. We respect her. She, even though her, her actions are not questionable, because if, okay, if this is done in real life, we wouldn't like her. But if it's done in a book and it's really funny and entertaining, we love her. So um, Amelia is a good, it, she's a good character. Now, like I said, the book definitely feels like it was written for a TV show format. The chapters feel like you're watching an episode, but you're actually reading. And there are so many dramatic moments that get resolved, but it still follows the storyline. And the big picture in the end, this red line, it makes sense. Um, everything just ties together, even though like each episode is like something different happens. Like each chapter, something different happens, but it, <laughs> my chinchilla is watching me and it's scary. <laughs> anyway, um, each chapter, something different happens, and but it all ties together in the end to progress the plot if that makes sense which I guess could be said for every single book however I don't know I just get a, fit, a, a different feeling with this one and like I said Amelia and Mason's friendship is everything however you know whose friendship is also everything Aiden and Amelia's Aiden and Amelia's we love them together they are I don't know, I just love Amelia as a character and then Aiden as a character and they they just get well together, I mean go well together. Now I'm on page 170, which is in the middle of chapter, um, let me check, ooh this chapter is long, oh chapter 14. So right now I have honestly no bad things to say, when I started reading this, this I, I needed a comfort book. And this definitely is a comfort book. Definitely. <laughs> now, Jessica did DM me and said, let, let me check. She said she's scared. I'm not gonna like the ending now. She said she's scared. I'm not gonna like the ending. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, hmm. <laughs> That makes me worry. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make me worried because I know I'm gonna love it. But if I don't, I'm gonna come after her. So <laughs> anyway, I have already the second book. I received an arc. So after this one, I'm gonna go straight to reading that one. So even if I don't like the ending, at least I get the second book. So sucker. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to reading and I hope I'll see you soon. It is getting cold. I'm wearing my pajamas underneath and um... I just don't, I can't really be bothered to dress up because I'm at home, it's a Saturday and my chinchilla is stretching. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, Jack. Oh, he did this as if he was a hi. Even though he was just rubbing his nose, it's so cute. Anyway, I am on the page 214. I, I stopped in the middle of a chapter just to give you guys an update. I finished... Yesterday when I started reading, I was on page 78 and I somehow didn't even mean to read so much. Genuinely, my friend and I, we are having a buddy read and we're going to be hosting buddy reads a little bit more often now. We have decided that uh, we're going to finish 100 pages by the end of the week and then 200 pages by the end of next week. However, I just got lost in the book and I read on. And I can't help but read on. I just, it wasn't my intention to read more than 200 pages, but I'm on page 214 now. And um, she also read on, so we've decided to just finish the book by the end of next week. And I only have like, not really that much. I have 100 pages to go and like that much. I have that much to read. Oh, my chinchilla is distracting me. He's so cute. I don't really want to spoil anything, but I feel like I need to talk about it in order to um, feel like I'm not just giving you a glossed over version. Something happens in this book and then they go to the races and suddenly the races are introduced. Like 
every bad boy book has the races or racing or fighting, boxing, whatever. And I don't find it cliche in this book, but I just really don't like people racing. My dad loves racing. Um, watching the races, I hate them. I hate any sort of competitions. They make me... So, especially if it's like a run-in with the law or if it's just this like competitive, negative rivalry that's going on and I just don't like it. So, I'm struggling to get through the chapter but not like struggling because it's genuinely... The book is interesting. I just don't like the races. But I love the book enough to just keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this chapter. And then hopefully, since it's now Rymo, I need to write something. Like, I don't know, at least a chapter. So that's an update for me. And I hope to hear from you. What? I hope to talk to you soon. I'm back. I've finished. I'm... I'm done. I've read the thing that I was supposed to read. I don't know if I should say that I'm okay because I'm not sure if that's gonna be a lie or not and I don't want to lie to you guys but I'm not exactly okay. I'm mediocre. Feels. I don't, I don't know. This book, um, she's with me. What was that ending, first of all? I know Jess warned me about the ending. She said that I'm not gonna like it. However, I love the ending, but not in the way that I was supposed to love it. Um, I love how it ended. I love cliffhangers. I love, love cliffhangers. Love them. A lot of people don't. I do. And I'm so happy now that I've got an arc to continue with reading because... I need to know what's, go what's going on. So there is this big thing that's happening with this book. And there are minor conflicts within this book that um, get resolved. Or that are going on. Like with characters' backstories. And there are so many things going on. But the minor... The, the major thing. The big thing. Doesn't get resolved in this book. Which is... Which it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting for something to happen with I don't want to spoil anything but I also don't want to be too vague something regarding Amelia's past has been following her around if that makes sense and I was expecting for that thing to play some sort of role in her life in this book however that didn't happen and I hope we're gonna find out in the second book and that it's gonna be resolved I hope her friends figure things out what's happening with Amelia and I hope that she doesn't leave <laughs> this might be a, no it, I don't know don't know anyway I'm trying to be vague so that nobody understands unless you read the book because I don't want you to get spoiled this isn't about you getting spoiled this is about you probably enjoying my reactions however if you do want to get spoiled if you want these videos to be more in-depth detailed let me know I, I could just talk about it however I know that there are so many people who haven't read these books that I'm talking about normally so I just you know it's common decency <laughs> all in all this is a total five star read now I should probably mention that this book should probably have some triggers with violence there is a lot of violence um drug abuse also and just like Domestic violence, domestic abuse, I guess, um, and murder. But with all of that said, I, I myself don't find them too graphic, but you might. With all of those themes still involved, I would still have to say that this book feels very light. It feels like an easy read. I read through it. I don't know, this... This is just a beautiful read. There is a lot of insults and swearing in this book too. There is racing. Um, <laughs> there are fights. <laughs> Honestly, everything that you'd expect, but it's done in a way that's like not too much and is actually enjoyable. Oh gosh, Arden, you're talking so much. Anyway, pick this book up if you want to. I really liked it. I really, really did. And I see why... I say this for every Wattpad book, but I see why it got published and I understand um, the 
the intrigue behind it and why it's so popular, why it has such a popular fan base. Jessica really did a wonderful job with this book and yeah, I can't wait to read the second book. Video will be out December 7th. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got at least something from this video and if you want me to do more, to film more videos, click the like button and subscribe, click the notification bell, check me out on social medias and all that. Uh, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.